We've got a uh, kicker on campus in North Carolina, former North Carolina place kicker Noah Ruggles, 19 of 27, perfect on the extra points, lost his job last season in Chapel Hill. I don't necessarily know that this speaks a lot of him, although he, he had a capable season, but more about options because really they only have the one um, option right now in terms of a scholarship kicker and Jake Seibert, uh, Tony. Yeah, it it's, uh, lets you know exactly what they think of Jake Seibert and in terms of they're not quite 100% sure. Not that they think he's terrible, but that there are questions. So you're going to have two scholarship kickers, which Jim Trestle did it before with Aaron Petri and Ryan Pretorius. That's not common, uh, but, you know, it's it's insurance and it provides competition for both. So you should get the both. If you get the both out of one of those guys, then – you know, you, you go with them. But, yeah, it was a guy who was going to be benched, I think, when he was actually kicking is what redshirt uh, junior year would have been in 2019 after missing some kicks in an overtime loss and they were going to go to somebody else. And I think they did, but then he bounced back pretty well and, and actually never missed a game that year. But then kicked one time, I think, last year. And you know, I, I'm, I'm assuming lost his job in camp. And so uh, he's, he's experienced, but he's also been somebody who's been replaced and has been tried to be replaced. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. He was showing uh, some clips or he had some tweets on his Twitter uh, feed of him kicking like back-to-back 60 yarders from the middle of the field, one in one goalpost, turn around, kick the other and the, the other goalpost. So he's got a leg as with all of these guys, it's just consistency. And I don't think they know enough about Seibert other than what they've seen in the spring and, just what little bit we saw in the spring game wasn't encouraging. So it lends me to believe like what we saw in the spring is in the spring game is probably close to maybe what they saw all spring long. And, and I'll say this quickly on uh, the kicker that they're bringing in. He was six uh, in 2019. Last time he kicked on the regular, he was 16 of 18 from inside of 40. I don't see Ryan day going out there and wanting a bunch of 47, 48, 51 yard field goal attempts. Honestly, I don't see Ohio State, even in a 15-game season, if they play every possible game that they can, attempting more than 20 tries, I mean, to be quite honest. So, you know, be be automatic on your uh, point afters. Uh, be good from inside of 35. Everybody will go about their merry way. Uh, you know, I don't see this as some sort of – piece that's going to completely alter the fortune of the team. Uh, you know, it may not be until the playoff that Ohio State gets into a game where those people are going to matter. But then again, we never saw certain stumbling blocks being stumbling blocks at this point of the year leading into 17 and 18 and things like that. So best to sure up every crack that you can while you can. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. The, I think the only reason they're going to be kicking like 50 yarders is if it's at the end of a half or at the end of the, the game, like the clock is running out or you're fourth and 15 from the 35 and you're just not going to go for it. And so, yeah, there's there's really no reason. I don't – I think as I wrote in the story about him coming to Ohio State, I don't think Ohio State anticipates any of their games coming down to a field goal. Um, and if it does, maybe you still just go for it anyway. <laughs> 